Welcome to the Prophetic Zone with Apostles Tommy and Katrina Gary, Senior Pastors of Thy Kingdom Come Global Ministries, right here in Panama City, Florida. Here are Apostles Tommy and Katrina Gary. Good morning. Welcome to the Prophetic Zone with your host, Apostle Katrina Garrett. Hi, and I'm Apostle Tommy Garrett. And we welcome you this morning on the Prophetic Zone right here on Fox 28. <laughs> Amen. Praise Amen. God. Amen. Hallelujah. Is this is a good, good day morning. the Lord has made. The Let us rejoice Amen. and be glad in it. <laughs> Hallelujah. We are so excited this morning. We have our special mm -hmm. guest here, Pastor Donna Peffer from the Tabernacle Church. Yeah. Yes. Our pastor. Hi. Pastor Donna from the Tabernacle, my husband and I are pastors, uh, been pastoring since 2002. Yes. So. yes Amen. Yes. 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 On last on last week we had her husband on the show and he, we yes. were talking about a pastor's heart. And yes. so um, this week we're gonna we have her on the show yeah, this amen. morning. And I, we just want to take this opportunity to thank everyone who has been tuning in. We have been getting amen. good reports from people. Amen. I just want to give a shout out to a lady named Shannon. Um, she was saying how she really enjoyed our show. Hallelujah. And I um, just want to <laughs> give her a shout out. Thank you so much for watching us. Um, and um, God bless you, and we'll continue to lift Amen. you up in prayer. Amen. Amen. And so um, we're just blessed and she, by, by people that have been, um, you know, giving us good reports on what they noticed and how they yeah. said that we're coming on and the word of God is being preached over the airways. And, and that's our it's mission. It's about time. Yes. Yeah, it's exactly. about time. It's needed. For yeah. Panama City. Yeah, that's what, we, that's, what we, that's what we desire. Mm -hmm. And so we're just so blessed this morning. And we're going to talk about uh, prayer. Um, Pastor Donna and I, that's what we do. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> and my husband. Yes. Hey, when I can. <laughs> well, some, people, some people go a little deeper than just prayer. Yes. We're intercessors, yes. which a lot of people may not know what that means. But intercession, usually it's a gift from God. It's yes. a grace from God. It's not something that we can just do ourselves. Amen. Right? No, it's a gift that he gives us. Yes, yes, yes. To is. be able to go a little deeper or a lot deeper in prayer than most people because... Um, to hear his heart's desire for our city. Amen. You know, when I was first a Christian, I thought prayer was just for me. Right. And every other thing that I put on my list, and then I realized, mm -hmm. God, all I'm doing is talking to you about everybody and all my problems and all their problems, and I'm not going to do that no more. I quit doing that. And I said, I just I want to be in your presence. Right. And I, all I'm doing is talking to you about every, my problems and everybody else's problems. Amen. Right. And so I just started learning to put on worship music. And worship in Him. Right. And then once I felt like I entered into a, di a different, you can just tell when the atmosphere changes. Right. You know? Yes, right. Shifts. And really, right. once you're in the, in that atmosphere, all that other stuff really is not even on your mind anymore. No, your yes. problems are no longer. Uh, you know, that that, that 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 comes with you know because when you when you pray. It's communing with the Lord. Yes. And it's his spirit and your spirit right. communing together. Right. And in, in, in Matthew um, yeah. 21, 13, um, I'm going to read Matthew 21, at, starting at verse 13. Mm -hmm. It says, And he said unto them, It is written, My house shall be called the house of prayer. Yes. Amen. But you have made a den of thieves. This is basically when Jesus had went and he had uh, turned the tables over because they were in yes. there um, selling things and so forth. Making merchandise and, and, and out Jesus, of his temple. You know, yes, it's not him. Exactly. That's right. That's, he did not desire the, the church or for us to be a place of merchant, but he Money desired changes. us to be a place right. of prayer. Right. That's right. A house of prayer. But we have to realize, though, nowadays the house is here. Exactly. We are the house of the Lord. Yep. We shall be a house of prayer, a temple of prayer. Right. We, you know. That's where he but, dwells. I mean, exactly. in the Old Testament, you know, he dwelled in the tent, and then of course they built the tab, they, right. they built with well, the tabernacle, the they built the temples. Right. But you know, that's what he was saying that I'm going to dwell in man. Right. In man. And, 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 and then things changed. And yes. And then things. Jesus changed. came, and everything changed. Yes. <laughs> and then it helps Amen. us to get beyond the veil. We can go oh, beyond. Yes. And, and prayer is very important because. Prayer is what moves the Spirit of God. Yes. Um, Amen. Prayer is what causes things to take place in your life and in the life of others. Right. And just like you were saying earlier about, you know, you're praying for others and, you know, praying for yourself. Right. That's what intercessors do. They, they stand in the gap right. for Go someone ahead. else. Right. An intercessor stands in the gap. Jesus is our what? Main you know, intercessor. Intercessor. Right. And he stands in the gap on behalf of us. Right. And so those of us who are called in intercession and prayer, yes. that's what we do. Because yeah. I tell you, it takes a task for people to pray. Mm -hmm. Amen. You can get the people to come together if it's a concert food, going on for food, for food giveaways, fun, fellowship, all <laughs> prayer. The time. Prayer. You might have two or three people. You'll have about 10% of yeah. your, if you're a pastor. Right. 
about 10% of the congregation. Right. So, right. you know, right. even uh, Pastor Kilpatrick from, you know, when the Brownsville Revival broke out, he mm -hmm. holds 3,000 or held 3,000 in that church. And when they called prayer after revival hit, they had 300 people show up. So it's, it's about 10%, you know, for everybody. That's right. That's the power um, of prayer, the power of prayer. Right. The thing I want to go back to, though, saying, like, instead of praying for me now, the Lord has taught me for the last 20 years, I've been an intercessor for Bay County right. specifically. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, I have a map of Bay County that I pray over for the last 20 years. Um, he's even shown me things in the book of Jeremiah about Bay County that I had no idea about. You know, he'll call me on a fast. And give me, of course, I have to have a notebook to write everything down right, because right. when you're fasting for an extended period of time, you don't realize every day what God is saying. You don't get the big picture. At least right. I didn't. And I'd write it all down, and then at the end of that fast, it would, like, all come together. I'd sit down and see what I wrote, mm -hmm. and it's all like the light comes on, right. you know? Mm -hmm. and he showed me a lot of the strongholds over our city. Right. What we need to pray for as a body of Christ, you know, as pastors, we don't just pray for our church. Right. We are an extension of us, you know. We right. blessed y'all and sent you out, and, and we pray for y'all's church to prosper and for revival. We pray for all the churches that are truly seeking the Lord Amen. to have revival. Amen. 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 And, Not most, just our and most revivals that did break out, like you say, the Brownsville, right. and then like even like Azusa Street Revival with William Seymour, yeah. I remember um, even doing a study, even Pastor Bill preached on this, yes. how he would take an apple crate and put and it on top of his head, head because yes. he was showing humility. Yes. And, 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 he, and they all they did was pray. pray. And when they kept praying and seeking God, that's when the revival mm. poured out. You know, it's just like in Chronicles, it says, uh, I want to say in, in Second Chronicles 7, 14, if, if my my people who are called by my, my name, name. Amen. will humble, humble themselves and pray and yeah. seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. That's why I think he said if, because he knows that's the <laughs> hardest thing to get people to do is go, oh, if you would just humble yourself and pray, people yes. would be like, pray, right. I ain't got time. Right. Actually, we don't have, we, we have to pray. It's, right. it's, we have to. I'm going to put it in the same category as tithing. People don't understand that, but well, if it, you don't tithe, well, it's a power in your. It's, it's a, a power. It's a That's power right. in your right. walk. Yes. Because um, I don't want to just shift to another subject, but okay. it's it's a power because as a man, we we we, we work. We um mm -hmm. we, we want to do our own Thank extra you. play yes. golf. We want to do um work on cars, play golf, um take care of the kids. Amen. We want to do all kind of things. Shop. But in, in the midst mm -hmm. of, we still have to find a place Amen. of prayer Amen. and, and yes. the power in it, and it's like, like for instance, if, you, if your children running wild, your wife running wild, your husband running you wild, you, you, you have to, <laughs> there, there's no way you're going to break that stronghold but through prayer. Amen. Exactly. Amen. You can't That's fight true. It. You can't That's fight true. any kind of, any, any demonic force that you're coming up against. Because I, I know my wife, she always it. get at me about, are you praying? You always doing this? You always doing this? But are you really praying? I'm like, honey, I'm praying for you every day. No, that is me. Yeah. Our children, he like gets but, angry. See, he starts mm -hmm. saying things. I'm like, baby, you can't fight them in the, in the natural. natural. You, you, you got to pray. You, you have, have to pray, pray, pray them through it. That's the thing. That's a lot right. of people, I remember teaching people about prayer. Like when you start out praying, and in secret, like mm -hmm. Matthew 6, 6 says, you go before our Heavenly Father in secret. That's right. He rewards us openly. In other words, we'll see with our eyes what we've prayed in secret. Right. We'll exactly. see it with our eyes out in the, in the public arena. But the thing is, people don't realize when you pray and all the opposition starts, everything starts going crazy, and then they just go, they, they lose it. They're like, get, they get frustrated, they yes. get mad, I yes. don't understand, blah, 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 blah. And it's like, you are the reason why all that's happening because you are the one that's, that's stirring it up by that's doing right. your prayer. By doing your but prayer. a lot of people don't realize that. They don't, mm -hmm. they don't realize that they're, they are seeing a, the uh, fruit of their prayer. prayer. Right. And, it, and it's, it is going, if you're coming against something that is not godly, it is going to manifest in a negative way. Is that That's right? Because it's not it's, right. yeah, because the flesh fights the spirit constantly, exactly. constantly. and it always will, right. even inside of us. Exactly. Not just on the outside, but inside. Right. We have that, Tommy, like that struggle. You, you know, we say we have to. You say we have to take time to pray. Have right. to. We have to. There's that battle between your flesh and your, your spirit. spirit, and your flesh going. I ain't got time. I'm going to go get me a bucket of that chicken Wednesday, right. remember? What that, you say? That, yeah, see? And, <laughs> no, we have to make our body come under submission to the Word of God and say, mm -hmm. I may not feel like praying. I may not. 
uh, you know, have the time to pray, but I'm going to take at least five minutes and sit down and read the word and tell the Lord. And if you sit down for five minutes, you'll go longer. And then you have, an, then you have another observation with prayer. You have a lot of people that... Um, I know we do a lot of work on the on the outside of the church, outside the walls. We we right. do a lot of praying for people, um, sick people, and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. and, and, and a lot of people, um, I have had people come to me and, and, and say, um, um, "I was healed, and um, I, I'm thank you for praying for me yeah. because I I seen a change when when you prayed for me right. that happened." And, and, and a lot of people are in disbelief about prayer because you have a lot of oppositions that's yes. going against God at this time because they, 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 they don't understand that God does not work on our time. Exactly he he right. works in seasons. And, mm -hmm. and the blessing of prayer, that, that the strongholds that we can break just to get in our prayer closets yes. to come yes. against these things. Right. Yeah. But see, you got to understand when you pray the prayer, it's already been done right then. Yeah. It's just like when Daniel prayed and it took 21 days for the angel to come. Angel, yeah. And he said that the Lord heard your prayer the you first know, day. The first day. Yeah. Okay, but the thing of it is he had yes. to fight against the prince of Persia. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, they have, they, they, you know, the prayer has been answered. The moment you pray, it's been answered. Amen. But, but you know, one of the things is that we can't be um, emotionally involved when it comes to prayer yeah. because yes. we have to walk by faith. Faith yeah. is not an emotion. You That's know right. what I say it's we are? Belief. I say we you are the belief. FedEx man. Right. Uh, I'm just the messenger. Mm -hmm. Don't kill the messenger. Right. I just drop off the package, and it's up to the person that's at home if they want to open the package and, and open it and get what's inside. But they don't Amen. want to. That's not my fault. That's you right. Know, I do what. I'm just the FedEx man. I, I go before God. I get instruction, and I do what God tells me to do. You have to. And um, most of the time, when you're dealing with praying over the city, is a lot different than when you pray for people. Yeah, it's yeah, different. It's, it's, yeah. You, it's you, totally you, you different. Did, you're dealing with principalities, that's exactly. right. Mm -hmm. Well, and, yeah, and strongholds. Yeah. And, strongholds. And, and then being pastors of a church, now, myself and my husband, we, we don't just pray for ourselves. Right. We, we feel like we have, we have to pray for our church. You have members. to. Members. And, and we've even fasted for marriages in our church. And, and I'd be like, look, here we went a whole week without food. It ain't even our marriage. That's right. You know? Right. Right. And, and I thought, Lord, what? that was unusual for me at that time to fast for somebody else's marriage and go without food. Because, right. you know, right. it's not my marriage. Why should I care? But I just, I guess that's the heart of God that he gives. Hey. Going back to what my husband said, we just love God's people. And I know the only way to, to, to win any battle, like you said, you can't fight it with your flesh. Okay. Yeah, right. And the only way to win is on your knees. That's right. Matthew no matter 20, what. Matthew 21, 22 says, if you believe, yes. that you, your prayers will, will be received. Yeah. That's right. If you believe. Yeah. And it strengthens your faith. It strengthens. Yes. And, and prayer, when you're praying, you're communicating with the Lord, mm. which means you're That's getting the to, you're, 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 you're building up your faith and your trust yes. in what he was saying. Yes. And so even though, like you said, as I, I, over time as I, grown in right, ministry right. and grown in my walk with the Lord. Mm -hmm. You know, I remember when I first started out and I first started out praying, you know, I would sometimes pray and be like, okay, I wonder. But but as you as you as you grow and as you mature, then you know your prayer has been answered. Right. And, and I don't Jesus. worry things so much does about it. stir up worse. Oh, yes. It does stir up Jesus. worse when you pray. I like because that. Because the enemy <laughs> wants to stop you from yeah. praying because he knows that that is communication with the Lord himself. Yeah. And so therefore he's gonna try to stir you up or scare you. You know, I remember when I was praying for my children mm -hmm. Year, I took a year to pray for my children. It seemed like it got yeah. worse. That's and I was happened. like, well, the I enemy hope I read it back up. There's because. a saying that remember I used to, I don't know if you remember, I used to say it all the time that mm -hmm. if you can be stopped, you will be stopped. Right. Mm -hmm. And the right. enemy knows if he right. can stop you, he's, a, he's accomplished. That's he's right. taking, a, he's he's taking another he's, one off he, the battlefield. But, you know, I wanted to interject right here, just talking about prayer where I opened up today when I was asking the Lord what to talk about. Mm -hmm. And I opened up right here about miracles, signs, and wonders, which I know is coming to Bay County. Because right. uh, it's been prophesied over Panama City there's going to be a revival. Mm -hmm. Yes. And um, I believe it's going to be an awesome, it's not going to be a normal revival. It's a revival of reaping of right. souls. Right. The souls are going to start coming in. Mm. 
And uh, boy, are they going to start are, coming you in? Know, do you know they are already yes. actually starting to begin to stir up? Yes. I was um, earlier. I was in getting my nails done. I'm a young lady sitting yes. there, and my nail tech was like, "I ain't seen you in two years." And I said, "Well, <laughs> I'm sorry." It's not, I, said, I said, "No, it ain't been two years. It's been a year." And I said, "Well, we've been going through some things. Me and my husband, you know, yeah. we're in ministry." I said, "I had to take a sacrifice." I said, "The Lord was like either me or the nails." I was like, oh, "God, Lord, go ahead." So the lady that was sitting next Jesus. to her, she heard the conversation, and she yeah. asked me what church, and I told yeah. her. And she began to tell me how she's from Chicago, and she was saying how when she came down here, her mother got really sick, and people prayed for yeah. her. And she said she never felt the prayer like she did down here. Right, right. She said she's it was so Bible sincere. Belt. She, well, she's in the Bible Belt area. Yeah. I didn't realize when she said a lot of people in Chicago don't go to church as much. Yeah. Is what she was telling me, being that she's from Chicago. Yeah, the South is known as the Bible Belt area. Right, yeah. and she said she was looking for a church. And I believe that that's the second, well, actually the third person I've met this week yeah. that said they're looking for a ministry. And so yes. I believe, and, and these people are not churched. Tell me. Mm. So like you said, the, the harvest, on. The harvest that the Lord has shown right. me, he said it's going to be worked on. It's not revival. I was part of Brownsville Revival. That was awesome. But he said, it ain't going to be like that. Mm -mm. It's not going to be like that. It's going to be work. It's going to be work. getting the harvest in. He's going to bring mm -hmm. back those that have backslidden, those yes. that have been hurt right. hurt by the church for whatever reason. They quit going to church. He's going to bring back the backslider. Right. He is. Right. And uh, he's going to save souls that's never been saved. Right. And like you said, some of them are not going to be lovable. Some of them are not going to dress the way we, hey. we would prefer them to dress. But you know what? I always remember where I came from. Where I from. came from. That's why I share my testimony all the time. And, I mean, uh, but you know, to finish what from. I was going to say, if Jesus said, not, now this is just not prayer. He just said, those that believe right. Right. in me, in me. shall go forth and heal the sick, mm -hmm. cast out devils, devils, and all that. Come on. All we have to do is believe in Jesus' name and That's be able to do those do. works. And here we got 300 and something churches in Bay County, and we're still waiting to see, to the degree that we know can happen, the manifestations of the miracles, signs, and wonders that we're waiting on. Mm. Exactly. And, and I'm not just wanting, like, when I told someone at the church, I said, it's okay, I know you had a headache, your head, headache's gone. I, okay, your headaches can be pretty bad. But I'm talking about somebody that went to war and got their arm blowed off or their legs blowed off, or their eyes blowed out, you know, by, by, uh, by the enemy over there in the real war. And just watch God say, you know, in the name of Jesus, be healed, and, and literally watch the arms back. come back. Right. Yeah, and, and a lot of people don't have that kind of faith. Yeah. Hey, a lot of people. You know? well, because we got to get past the rejection. I don't, right. I don't, know. I don't know why <laughs> we don't have that kind of faith. Well, because the, I think a the lot The Bible of says is. we can, but when, when you don't have faith, you, hey, your, 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 the will, well, your mind says you can't. Yeah. And we're not supposed I to be think, operating with our mind. But see, I, think, I believe that. I mean, look, I believe God spoke this world into existence, don't you? Yeah, I believe it. But I, I have talked to pastors, and they'll say something about, like, for example, I prayed for a woman that had been trying to have a child, her and her husband, for 10 years. Couldn't have a child, so they adopt. But I, I'm at a Christmas party, and I, Bill said, let my wife pray for you. So I take her, you know, in the ladies' restroom. I ask her, I said, do you mind me touching your belly? I spoke to her womb in the name of Jesus and commanded it to bear fruit. And she had a baby right after that. Little girl, the little girl wound up having to have heart surgery, and I probably don't have her picture in this Bible. Mm -hmm. But I keep that baby's picture because every time I look at it, I think about faith. I think about the power of God. And do you know how much happiness that brought that lady? Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 You know? Yeah. Just little things like that. Yeah. Small things. I believe, I believe that we are, we, we're stepping back into the, we're going to step into the age where we are going to see more manifestations yes. of miracles and signs and wonders. Yes. I think what it is, as we as a church, we can't run to signs and wonders or we run to it and look for it. We have to walk in. We are. Have to walk exactly. In. We are. We are. It says we they will follow us. Yeah. And, right. they will follow and for us. the longest time, yeah. the church has followed after that. And, it's and, price, but and, it, and it's it, 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 the last days it would have. It there'll be a big falling away. Yeah, yeah. and it's a but price. that's how I the mean, world follows the Antichrist too, because that's of right. the miracle signs and wonders. So you have to have enough discernment to know what's God exactly. and what's and not. Motive, not. And Everything and that's supernatural is not God, and right? The motive. When you were saying, how come we don't see a lot of it? Mm. Is because you gotta look at the, what's your motive behind the miracle. Right. Is the motive they behind want the, the glory, miracle. or they want, want God the glory, to get the glory? Or you want God get the glory. Exactly. Right. You know, and we have to be careful because we can get like that. Yes, we can yeah. easily fall into that temptation of you know, oh, I, think, I prayed yeah. for this person, or I healed this person. 
And it's, no, it's right. not we did it. I did it. The Lord did it. Exactly. And the know. word says God shares his glory with no Amen. one. Amen. I just preached the other <laughs> night out of Dan, I th no, Ezekiel. And this kind of put the fear of God back in me again. And, right. and uh, I think that's what we've lost a lot in the body of Christ is the fear of the Lord. But I was it. reading in Daniel when Daniel, the spirit of the Lord took Daniel in a vision. And, and, they, and God was talking to these, um, called out, and these six angels came forward. And one of them, he said, had an inkhorn on his side. Mm -hmm. and, and God spoke to that angel and said with the inkhorn, you go forth and you put a mark on the forehead of my people, mm -hmm. of my people. And, um, and then he told the other five, he said, you follow after him, and everyone that doesn't have that mark, kill them. Mm -hmm. Woman, man, child, child, do not spare and do not have pity. Mm. And he said, and start at my sanctuary. Mm. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Well, he does judge us first. I mean, well, you got to think about it. The household of faith, you know. Well, the Bible God, says starts the the judgment the, begins at the house the of the Lord. But then right. when I read that, mm. I thought, if that angel was to come through our church, <laughs> you know what I mean? He's come to well, how many churches. of those people, or even me, <laughs> including myself, I always check myself. When there's something spiritually not right in the in our atmosphere at the church, I first go before the Lord and say, God, if there's something I'm doing or not doing or something, repentance, show me. Repentance, yeah. And if it's my husband, show me so that I can pray for him. Because uh, I don't tell him nothing. I you know I let the Lord tell him. Um, and the goodness, you have to and, check the, and the and the goodness of that is. That same scripture you told about, it also happened when David and Solomon switched places mm -hmm. in the kingship. He told him to go. He said, "Go kill that whole tribe. Don't bring nothing back." But, yeah. he, but he brought back food and he, and he the spoils. David spoils. And Saul, Saul yeah. did that. Yeah, and, and, and he killed. Saul did him. But he said that. But the people, the people made him do it. See, yeah. peer pressure. But, yeah. but look, look, look what's going on now, though. But they had, they kept the good-looking <laughs> women. They kept all the best spoils. They That's kept right. the best flock. Yeah, right. And so look what's going on now. The same suicide thing. Because God dethroned them. He took the Well, you know what? Them. That reminds yeah. me of this saying that I've been having, God's been telling me lately is, like, people living in the church now, coming in, and they can be going through a divorce, and one of them still stay, remain at the same church and bring in their live-in lover. And I've had, we've had, like, four couples do that in our church. And I'm like, okay, Lord, do they not have the fear of God? What's wrong here if they can walk in this church and sit there and feel comfortable like that? So, of course, you know, we called somebody over our head that's been in it longer than us, and they're like, this is a nationwide problem now. Yeah. People have no fear of the Lord. Yeah. And, and, that comes and from I, lack I had of to prayer. go into intercessory prayer, prayer for mercy mm -hmm. for these people. Right. That's, that's where prayer come in, fasting. Like, and us standing up for yeah, like our beliefs, said, our truth you beliefs. Have to, somebody got to stand in the somebody gap because right. that man with that ink horn is still around. Right. Right. They're around for eternity. Exactly. And, exactly. and it's our job to make sure that not to ju to condemn people, but to get them into heaven. Yeah. You know, at stand all firm costs, on our beliefs. That's right. what our job is to get them into heaven. We need to stand firm on the foundation that was planted on that, that exactly. God gave us to plant on. We need to stand firm on that foundation. That's yeah. what's going on. Uh, we're, we're not standing up for no. our beliefs and, and and what God has mandated us all to walk in. Amen. We're supposed to be kingdom minded. Amen. And, and, and what's going on? We're not kingdom minded. We we Wait, we mm. adapting along right along with the well, world. Well, you know why? Water down because water. there's yeah. been people been saying for so many. Oh, I've heard that for years. Jesus is coming back. Jesus is coming back. Minute. Well, you know what? You look at the there's the fullness times. of time that God said. Yeah. Just like the day of Pentecost. Go ahead. Right? When the fullness of time came. The day of Pentecost fell. When the fullness of time comes, it's his it's his agenda, not right. our agenda. Right. So that's what and people say, Well, I don't see anything happening, you know, people are now in this city are starting to stop Sunday night church, Wednesday night church. And and my husband and I are like, Didn't God say come together more often as you see mm. the time approaching? Right. So we still do Sunday morning, Sunday night, Wednesday night, we pray on Tuesday night. I mean, we're not gonna stop meeting. Because everybody else is. That's right. You they can't, can't, you can't. You know, if you can't afford to pay the light bill because not many show up, well, everybody you're not walk, trusting God to supply. Every, everybody walk is personal, and, and we can't listen to what they say and they say yes. do. We, we got to do what God says. What do because, the Word of God says. Because exactly. the way I look at it, um, he's like a, God is, 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 how can I say it? Like you said earlier, you gave a um, prayer. The yeah. prayer that we pray to God is, is like our Father with us with a cell phone that every time we get on that cell phone we can talk to him personally uh -huh. yes and, and, and when you talk to your father personally 
His name is Abba Father. When we yeah. talk to him person, we can we, we, we got to look for these things that we see. We know he hears it. Yeah. We know he hears yeah. it. Well, yes, we got a few yeah. more minutes left of the show, okay. and so um, what we want to do now is, if you are in need of prayer, yes. um, you definitely can contact us. Um, you can go to our page on on the on Facebook, the Prophetic Zone, and message us, or you can email us at GodKingdomComePCFL@gmail.com. at gmail.com. Hey, hello. Um, Say that again. <laughs> <laughs> what you say? And, and we will truly pray and for we you. Will truly, yes. We will truly pray for you. We will keep you in our prayers Amen. because that is what um, that is my heart, and that's what I'm, I, I, I love to do and I'm called to do is, is, is pray. And I've seen God do miracles and work through Amen. for people and, and, and um, do, do what he does. He's a healer. He's, a, he's our redeemer. He's everything. he's everything to us. And so if you are in need of that, definitely get with us, and we will definitely pray with you. And so um, also, Pastor Donna, I want to... I do want to close out with a prayer since we're talking about prayer. Okay. We only have a few minutes, so let's just talk. Let's just, let's just do a quick, quick prayer over the city, okay. and then we'll um, tune in on next week, and people okay. can um, you know, be blessed by okay. what God is going to do in their lives. Mm -hmm. So, Father, right now, yes, in the name Lord. of Jesus, we yes, just stand in agreement for the city. Lord yes, God, Lord. just Father touch God. those who are Let lost, Father God, and no. those, Father God, who have strayed Father away, strayed God. City, just Father. just call them back, the particles. We just call them back. Thank you for the lost that are coming back to you. Thank you for what you're in doing. Jesus name, we thank you, Father God, that you're doing a great work in this yes, city, Lord, and that you are rising up your church, you Father God, to stand in righteousness. And so, Lord, we give you the praise, we give you the glory. And if anyone who is in need, Father God, of being yes, healed or delivered in this Father hour, God, God yes, Lord. we just Increase decree that they are healed, the city, set free, Father, and delivered in, now, Jesus. Lord. in Jesus' name. Yes, in Jesus so, name. Father, we give yes. you the praise, we give you the glory. In yes, Jesus' Father. name, amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, amen. We pray. I do want to announce uh, one, uh, one more other thing. Um, um, we, we, if, you, if you're interested in... Um, uh, any topic that we can discuss, yeah. uh, feel free to write us. Write us at thykingdomcom, pcfl at gmail dot com. Amen. Amen. And if you feel free that um, that you might want to have some questions that you may have concerning what we discussed on prayer, um, you feel free to write us. And yeah. you can contact myself or Tommy and Pastor Don. How can they contact you? Um, our web page is thetabernaclepc.com. dot com. Okay. And then you can contact me there. Hey. And she's also on Facebook yes. as well. Amen. She's on Facebook. Facebook. So you, can, you can contact her through that under yeah, Donna where? Pepper, Tommy Garrett. Hey. Hallelujah. Just look hey. us up, man. Just look us up. <laughs> you know, get at me, man, or whatever. Yeah, that's <laughs> what he says. We ain't closing yet. I got to get a shirt made like that. You gotta get a shirt made that says get at I me. I've seen him with them chicken People wings. People steal. You <laughs> see that look on his face in that? Uh, them chicken wings? Is that what it was? Or just no, chicken? that was a prayer, was a prayer breakfast. Prayer I wasn't. I was like, yeah. get at him, man. <laughs> he well, I was hungry. Eat. He, likes, he to likes to kid around when it comes down to I was to the hungry. Camera. He was always yeah, hungry. He is. But anyway, God bless you. Again, thank, thank you. you again thank for, you for tuning me, in on the Prophetic Zone. Thank you, Pastor Donna, for thank coming you. on and talking hey, about prayer. Thank you, Pastor. Amen. Mm -hmm. and, and God bless you, Panama City. We love you. Amen. And uh, if you see us We're around town, be sure to turn to Channel 28, 630 every Friday morning. And when you see us around, Town, either one of us. Just get at me, man. 